Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah, praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, today, as the Lord leads me prophetically, I want to speak to you about the 2023 uh, presidential election and the things that are unfolding and to unfold and the things that are to be unfolded in it and be revealed in it. The month of March is our month of unfolding. The Lord spoke to me very clearly. He said the month of March is our month of unfolding. Our month of unfolding. The Lord said to me it's going to unfold a lot of things. He said the month of March is our month of unfolding. Share this video. Invite your friends. Uh, bring them here because it's a, it's a lot the Lord uh, is saying to me to say to you consigning uh, the 2023 presidential election. A lot has happened and the Lord has been unfolding a lot in the last few days and a lot is going to unfold this month. Uh, Daniel chapter 4 verse 17, the book of Daniel, the fourth chapter, verse 17. The Bible says for this decision and this announcement is by the decree of the watchers by the decree of the messengers he said it is commanded by the holy ones that everyone may know that the most high rules in the affairs of the kingdom of this world he gives power to whoever he chooses even to the lowest of people that the Most High God rules in the affairs of men. He gives power to whoever He chooses, even to the lowest of people. Now, the Lord has been speaking to me concerning the presidential election. And the Lord has been saying a lot to me concerning it. I've been saying it. The newspapers all over Nigeria and Africa Africa around the world has picked it and they have been talking about it but there are other areas as the election is over there are other ch chapters that is about to be unfolded which the Lord will want me speak to you so that you will see them as they begin to happen uh, the first one is that the Lord spoke to me he said that Asiwaju Bola Metinubu will be announced the winner by INEC on the 1st of March, which is a Wednesday. And I came out and I told the whole world, people were calling me man of God, prophet of God. When will the winner be declared? And I said on a Wednesday, on a Wednesday. And I also said that it is going to be on the 1st of the month of March. It will be on a Wednesday. And truly, as the word of God will come to pass, as the word of God will come to pass, as everyone was sleeping on Wednesday between 12 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, to 4 a.m. Between 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. Uh, INEC declared their winner. And they named Asiwaju Bola Metinubu the winner for them as the president elect now the lord spoke to me please listen to this share this video let it go viral because the things that are about to happen in the next few days i will be speaking to about them right now as what god have said to me the lord spoke to me he said do you know why he was announced on a wednesday and in the month of march which is the third month of the year. March is the third month of the year. I said, no, Lord, why? He said to me, he said, because three. He said, look at the number three. I said, yes, March is the third month of the year, of the year, of each year. March is the number three month of the year. He said, that's very good. He said, because there are about to be three presidents. There's about to be three presidents 
in the next few months in Nigeria. It's about to be three presidents in the next few months in Nigeria. And he said to me, he said, do you know why uh, Bola Metinubu is the number one that was announced? I said, no. He said, because he's the first among the three presidents. In the next few months, ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters, it's about to be three presidents that will sit, that will be announced as president in Nigeria. It's about to be three presidents. You will see when these prophecies come to pass. Please share this video. Bring everyone here. Let it go viral so that you know I said it. God spoke through me. God spoke prophetically through me. You will see them come to pass. It's about to be three presidents in Nigeria. The first one have been announced. Asiwaju Bola Metinubu. Bola Metinubu. He was declared the president-elect by INEC. But ladies and gentlemen, he will not sit on the throne. He will not become president of Nigeria. INEC has announced him the winner, but he is not the winner. He will not sit on the throne of the of the as the president of nigeria he's announced the winner yes but he's not the winner by god and the bible says in daniel chapter 4 verse 17 he said for the lord reigns in the affairs of men he said he giveth power to whoever he wishes even to the lowest the announcement of asiwaju bola metinubu as the winner of the election was done by man. That was the desire of man to make him the president. But God said, this time I will step into the affairs of Nigeria. The Lord reigns in the affairs of men. The Lord rules in the affairs of men. The Lord decides in the affairs of men. He said, I will step into the affairs of Nigeria for I have heard the cry of my people. He said, I will raise for me a leader. Now, before that leader will come, by the name Peter Gregory Obi, there will be another president. There's going to be another president. Now, Tinubu will not sit on the throne, but there's going to be another president. His name is Pastor Professor Yemi Osimbajo. His name is Pastor Professor Yemi Osimbajo. Yemi Osimbajo is going to sit on the throne as the interim president. He will sit in place of Tinubu. Now listen, the Lord said to me, there's about to be the announcement of three presidents. Three presidents are going to be announced in the next few months. Three. One has been announced. That's why it was on the 1st of March. I told you the dates are, are prophetic. Wednesday is the third day of the week. It's the third day of the week. March is the third day. Is the third month. Is the third month of the year. March is the third month of the year. And it was first of March. Asiwaju Bola Metinumu is the first of the three presidents. March is the three month of the year. Uh, what is it called? Uh, what is it called? Uh, 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 Wednesday is the three day of the month of the week. Is the three day of the week. Wednesday is the three day of the week. So, what will happen is after the announcement of Chinubu as the president, he will not sit on the throne. That has been ever emphasized. That has been ever emphasized. Yemi Osimba Joe will sit on the throne. Yemi Osimbanjo will be the next person that will sit on the throne. Yemi Osimbajo is the Nigerian next president. Ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Professor Yemi Osimbajo is the next president of Nigeria before Peter Obi. Pastor Professor Yemi Osimbajo is the next president of Nigeria before Peter Gregory Obi. So you are going to see these three names come out this period. 
the number one name you have already heard it. Asiwa Jubola met Tinubu. He will not be seated on the throne. He will not rule Nigeria. And number two name is Pastor Professor Yemi Osimbanjo. He will be seated on the throne as an interim president. He will be seated on the throne as an interim president. He will be seated on the throne as an interim. The word interim means for some months. For about three months. I've been telling you about three since. He will be seated on the throne for three months. And the case of Peter Obi in court will last three months. I've been telling you about three since three. I've been telling you the reason God said the 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 announcement of Tinubu as president was the third month of the year. Is the three month of the year? The month of March is the third month of the year. God is about to march some things away out of Nigeria. He's about to march some rude men, some mighty men out of Nigeria. He's about to march the enemies out of Nigeria. Now listen to this. Yemi Osimbajo will be interim president for three months. Uh, it will take three months for the decision of the of, of the presidency to reject Tinubu. Now to May, from you have March, April, May, that is May 29th, three months. The next three months, Tinubu will be rejected. He will not be seated on the throne. And then you have three months for the case of Peter Obi to be decided in court. It is very specific. Three months and there will be three presidents. And there will be three presidents. And there will be three presidents. I've said this very clear. And there will be three presidents. One will be Asiwaju uh, Bola uh, Met He will not be seated on the throne. He has been announced. The second is Yemi Osimbajo. He will be seated on the throne, but for a few months, for three months, it will be the interim president of Nigeria for three months. Why is it three? Because the Lord reigns in the affairs of men. The Lord rules and reigns in the affairs of men. Why? Because the God had it three. Three in one, the Trinity, the Trinity, the fullness of God is about to step in the affairs of men the fullness of God the Trinity the the, 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 the Trinity the three in one God is about to rest in the affairs of Nigeria he's about to come in his fullness that means God the Father God the Son God the Holy Ghost is about to dwell in his fullness and then there will be a new Nigeria. There will be a new Nigeria. Now listen to this prophetic word. Muhammad Buhari will not hand over to, uh, to what is it called? To Peter Obi. No. Muhammad Buhari will not hand over to uh, Asiwaju Bola Metinubu. No. He will not. Now listen to this prophetic word. It will be Yemi Osimbajo that we hand over to Peter Gregory Obi. It will be Yemi Osimbajo that we hand over power to Peter Gregory Obi as the new president of Nigeria. It will be Pastor Professor Yemi Osimbajo that will demand for the right result. On that day, the nation shall ask for righteousness. On that day, thus says the Lord, the people of Nigeria shall ask for righteousness. They shall demand that the rightful person be put on the throne. And Pastor Professor Osimbajo will be under so much pressure by the people of Nigeria to bring the right result. To bring the right result of the election. To bring the right result of the election. And Pastor Professor Yemi Osimbajo will stand in his office of righteousness. And he will ask the Chief Justice of Nigeria 
to give him the right result, the true winner of the election. And it will be discovered that APC took third, that PDP took second, and Labour Party took first. I've been telling you about three. There was an exchange in the reins of the spirit. Peter Obi was number one. And they exchanged it and gave it to Asiwa Jubola Ahmed Chinugu. And they gave Peter Obi number three. Number three is about to become number one. I've been telling you about three things. The reason why God said to me, he said the reason why Asiwa Jubola Ahmed Chinugu was announced the first day of March, which was yesterday, on the third month of the year, on the number three month of the year, is because he is number three. He's not number one in the election. You will discover by the time they judge the case, PDP will remain in his number two position. APC will go to number three. And, and, and Peter Gregory OB will come to number one. That is what the word of God says. That he giveth power to whoever he wishes. He giveth power to whoever he choose. Even to the lowest, he will raise them. Even to the lowest, he will raise them. Peter Gregory OB is going to move from number three to number one. The Lord said to me, he said, I am the righteous judge. He said, I am the true judge. He said, I will put a righteous man on that throne, which is Pastor Professor Yemi Osimbajo, that he will open the door for Peter Gregory Obi to come. That's why the Bible says in the book of Psalm 47 verse 8, he said, God reigns above the nations sitting on in holy throne the lord reigns above the nations he reigns above men he reigns above the thought of the nations he reigns above the thought of men he seeth every evil under the sun and he is the righteous judge my brothers and sisters in nigeria Nigerians across the world do not give up. There is a God in heaven that is about to judge the case of Nigeria. September, Peter Obi will be declared the president of Nigeria. By the month of September, Peter Obi will be declared the president of Nigeria. And there will be a new Nigeria. There will be a new Nigeria. Peter Gregory will be by the month of September. He will be declared by the courtroom the president of Nigeria. And the Lord said to me, he said the reason he did not allow Peter Gregory will be to win in the, in, in, the, in the election ground. He said it is because of this one thing. He said it is because of this one thing. He said it is because of this one thing. What is it? He said it is not by might. It will not be by the might of the obedient. It will not be by the strength of labor party. He said it will be by the spirit of the Lord. He said I will take Peter Gregory Obi to the courtroom. And I will declare him the winner. He said it will not be by might of the of the obedience it will not be by the strength of the labor party it will be by the spirit of the lord and therefore i say to president peter gregory will be go to court go to court and do not miss any day in court for the lord god almighty shall make you the president of nigeria it will not be by might. It will not be by power. It will be by the spirit of the Lord. And Nigeria will shake. And the nations of the world will shake. And you will know that there is a God seated in heaven. Share this video. Let it go viral. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is Bishop Desmond mm -hmm. saying to you, March is the month of unfolding. God is unfolding revelations. God is unfolding hidden secrets. God is unfolding hidden things to us. In Jesus' blessed name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you.